So I just filmed a little bit of a chaotic, disorganized ramble of a video. So I thought, why the heck not film two in one day? <laughs> hey everybody, it's Anna and welcome back to my booktube channel. If you're new here, um, I am a writer, editor, and game designer, and I also make uh, bookish videos on the internet about random geek and nerd stuff. So, uh, in the tradition of me kind of planning to do year-end reflections and New Year's resolutions at the last minute, welcome. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about books that I've read, things that I'm just proud of this year, and stuff that I'm looking forward to in 2023 gonna sound kind of bizarre because I feel like this is very antithetical to the current hustle oriented mindset of booktube but I'm actually really proud of myself for posting less this year. Um, I think that actually that has been really helpful for me because it's helped me to reorient this whole hobby of making booktube videos back to the whole reason why I started doing that in the first place, which is because I liked to read. Um, if you've seen my booktube's dead and I'm a necromancer video, I kind of talked about that a little bit there, but there was a time in 2020, 2021, where I felt like I had bought so much into this hustle and bustle of the way that I thought booktube was supposed to be and the way that my channel was supposed to be in order to actually get people to watch it and give a crap about the kinds of things that I was saying. Um, there was supposed to be a <laughs> verb at the end of that sentence, right? But the point is, is that I just needed to then take a break from making videos with that mindset because it wasn't serving me and it was making me just like actively not look forward to talking about books. And that's really not how it should be. It was making me read a ton of books that I didn't really care about because I felt like I had to. And again, that's just not me. So I'm kind of proud that I just posted less this year because it did give me a lot more time to focus on things that I was really excited about and to make sure that I wasn't sitting down to film a video unless I really thought that I had something to say. So at least as far as that goes, that's what I'm most proud of. I didn't have any particular like reading goals this year. Like in years past, I've wanted to read a certain number of books by black authors um, to more like diversify my bookshelves that way. Um, in previous years, I've wanted to do more readathons or I've wanted to post weekly wrap ups. I didn't really have any book related goals like that other than to really just like rehabilitate my relationship with reading for pleasure. I know I've talked about that some on this channel too, because when I first started my booktube channel back in 2017, um, I had been out of graduate school for less than a year and I just hated reading for pleasure because I couldn't do it. I couldn't enjoy it. I couldn't concentrate on it and I couldn't focus. And that made me so sad because reading was this thing that I loved that after graduate school, I felt like I couldn't do anymore because it just seemed like work. This year, I think that I'm kind of recovering from booktube seeming like work. And so it's just been really fun to just get to enjoy reading books that I know I wanted to read. Um, yeah, and that was nice. Another thing I'm really, really proud of this year is the work that I have done with Six String Games. So you've probably heard this by now, but my friend Colin and I started Six String Games as a company back in 2021 to make our business dream of writing a TTRPG together come true. Uh, it's a creative dream. We created the business to help facilitate this. And this year was the first year that we actually kind of went more public facing and started releasing games that we worked on. So this year we released four tabletop role-playing games in our like RPG snacks line. They are short games that are designed to be little to no prep played in a single session and both approachable for beginners to the hobby, but also fun for people that are seasoned veterans too, without being boring. So we published Ray Cats, which is a game about um, nuclear mutant color changing cats, very goofy and silly. Altitude, which is a survival horror game about climbing Mount Everest. The Secret Ingredient is Love, which is a solo journaling game about creating recipes and making magic. 
and Come Play With Us, which is about creepy haunted toys being possessed by spirits and the spirit of Christmas. I am ridiculously proud of all of the work that we did on this, as well as the work that we did on Big Damn Heroes, our big game that started it all. Most people never really get to do something like that in their life. Most people never even write a game. So the fact that we <laughs> wrote four of them, brought them all to completion, and that people actually like have given us money to buy them and play them is always going to be something that I'm really proud of. Um, yeah, it's been really awesome getting to share this creative project that we've had, this idea that we have had with the world at large, and I'm super looking forward to what we're going to do with it in 2023. Um, now that we've released the RPG snacks, we're going to focus a lot more on Big Damn Heroes, which is our big game, but we're also focusing on vending at different, like, events, you know, um, conventions, craft fairs, that sort of thing starting in January, actually, like the holidays end, then we go straight into our first vending event of 2023. So I'm ridiculously proud of that. Um, the other thing I'm very proud of is one of the other projects that I worked on for Zweihander RPG, which you can see right here, is the Zweihander Starter Kit. Um, it's designed to take what is a 600 page rule book for this game that I have been working on since 2020, condense it down into its most important rules a starter adventure, basically like the beginner's guide to playing this game without having to read through the giant rule book. And it's a bestseller. Uh, we became an Amazon bestseller really quickly, even before Black Friday when it was released. The Kickstarter broke some records. We sold out our first print run. And I am ridiculously happy to have been the editor and indexer on this project. Um, this is a part of my job that like I know probably doesn't sound very exciting or glamorous to a lot of people but I love editing and I love creating indexes and I'm damn good at it like I love being able to work with somebody who's written something creatively and help kind of massage that creative vision out and just make it shine so that it can be the best that it can be that's really fun to me. I really enjoy that part of my job. It's a lot of work, especially when you're reading a big manuscript, but it's something that I really, really enjoy doing. And I'm very proud of the work that the entire team did on this starter kit. I'm proud of the work that I did on the starter kit. And I'm really glad that like, this is going to bring the game to that many more people. Tea break. So yeah. Um, let's see. Goals for 2023 and a couple like life update type things. So you probably have not seen her in the background of videos for some time, but unfortunately I do have kind of a sad update to share with you all, which is that we lost our older dog, Lily, um, earlier this year. Not that long ago, actually, on December 5th. And it's Christmas Day today that I'm filming this. So 20 days ago um, is when we had to say goodbye to Lily after 14 years. So she will therefore not be in any of my future videos going forward. Um, we still have our younger dog, Gemma, whom we love very much. And we are looking to add another dog to the family just as soon as we can, kind of after the holidays are over. That's going to be great. But yeah, I miss her very much. So it's definitely different. There's definitely been some like big changes this year, just in terms of like personal family stuff and losing Lily and just dealing with some, you know, more heavy, heavy life stuff this year. So in 2023, I'm looking forward to kind of just continuing on with things that make us feel happy and feel cozy and affirmed and accepted and all of these other good things. My new year's resolution for 2022 was to be more like the bear from the Sleepy Time Tea box, um, the celestial seasonings little bear, you know, in his little armchair, with a little nightcap, just kind of happy and stuff. And I think I wanna continue that energy into 2023 because it's really helped me prioritize things that matter to me specifically like rest and recuperation time and just unstructured time to just play. You know, play around with creative projects, uh, 
goof off with reading new things that I never would have picked before and all that. I'm looking forward to taking that energy into the new year. I'd like to continue making booktube videos at about the rate that I have been making them maybe once or twice a month. I think that that just works so much better for me where I'm at in my life right now. And I don't know that I'm going to have necessarily picked out um, themes or topics for them. But here we are. <laughs> I'll just keep making them for as long as I find it interesting and fun to do so. Um, I don't know how like book to be they're going to continue to be because again as you'll see in my previous video the tenor of book two really has changed a lot but I'll just be here to share my thoughts and and opinions about books and my strong feelings and rants um so yeah looking forward to that I don't have any particular reading goals for this next year although I think I do want to reread a fair number of books and I would like to make more reading vlogs. Those are ones that are a lot of fun to do because I can just pick up the camera whenever I feel like it and just very impromptu share my thoughts. I enjoy that. I like this type of sit down video, but making reading vlogs is also very fun in a different way. So I'll probably continue on with wanting to do that. Sorry, my hair is stuck in this necklace and that really hurt. Ow. Um. So yeah, wanting to reread more, wanting to continue to make book two videos. Those are my goals for this platform. I have some other creative goals outside of that. Like I mentioned for Six String Games, really sitting down and like working on Big Damn Heroes. Um, I'm also looking forward to, I started writing more like personal blog posts on my website, which is anna-goldberg.com. Um, I wanna take more of my own like personal writing very seriously this year start seriously working on trying to get that published or out in the public eye in some way, shape, or form. Um, this has been something I've been working on quite a bit since 2021 in earnest, and I would really like for that writing to see more of the light of day, because right now it's mostly just me and a few like trusted friends and family who've seen that, and I would like to share it more with the wider world at large. So whether that's writing blog posts or whether that's my creative writing, that's one of my goals for this year. Um, also to work further on some projects that I can't tell you about yet because I'm under NDA, but that are gonna be coming out in 2023 and 2024. I think that a lot of my focus really has just shifted into building these like longer term projects, not the kind of thing that you could just do in a year, but really being dedicated to a long term, sustainable creative practice that will help me accomplish some more of these ambitious goals that I have kind of set for myself, while keeping in mind that I really just want to be the sleepy time bear at the end of the day, that that's important to me. Um, other goals for 2023. Do I have any other goals that are like book related? I don't know. I don't know. I think being serendipitous and spontaneous is mostly where it's at for me. I think it's continuing to be open to trying new things when it comes to filming booktube videos. Um, I mean, I guess this isn't really a new goal, but I do want to continue with like making the disability readathon an important part of my year, which it is for both me and Erin. And yeah, other than that, it's like, I just want to have fun with reading, you know, that's at the end of the day, what it really is all about. And that's why I'm here. That's why I wanted to start making videos in the first place. And I'd say that that still holds pretty true. So yeah, um, those are my goals for 2023. Those are the things that I'm proud of for 2022. Um, I guess I'll be back in 2023 with some more videos, y'all. So in the meantime, please take good care of yourselves. I hope that you're all doing well and that your winter months are treating you in a warm and cozy way with lots of good stories. Um, and thank you so very much for watching. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more of what I do, subscribing to this channel is the best way to get updates every time I post a new video. 
Um, otherwise, you can read my personal work at anna-goldberg.com and you can follow my game design stuff at sixstringgames.com, which is the number six string games. As always, thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.